Hello everyone, I hope you are well. In today's video, we will see the difference between API Gateway and the Load Balancer. Did you watch my previous video in which I talked about the difference between at rest controller and controller in a Spring Framework? If you are new here, I am Asan and I post tutorials on this channel. If you might be interested in watching those videos, consider subscribing to the channel. Let's start today's video without any further delay. If you have any questions, comment now on this video. Let's start with the API Gateway. Think of it as a front door to your web application. An API Gateway acts as a centralized entry point for all incoming API requests. It handles various tasks such as request routing, security informants, and response aggregation. Just like a receptionist at a hotel redirects guests to the right rooms, an API gateway directs requests to the appropriate backend services. If I talk about the real life example of an API gateway, you can say that imagine a large e commerce platform like Amazon. When you search for products, add items to your cart, or complete a purchase, those actions trigger different services behind the scenes. An API gateway ensures these requests find their way to the correct services, handling authentication, rate limiting and more. Now let's discuss the load balancer. Think of it is as a traffic cop at busy intersection. Load balancer evenly distributes incoming traffic across multiple servers. Its primary purpose is to prevent any single server from becoming overwhelmed, which enhances system performance, reliability, and fault tolerance. If I talk about the real example of the load balancer, we can say that consider a popular news website experiencing a sudden surge in traffic during breaking news. A load balancer steps in to distribute this traffic across multiple servers ensuring that no single service is overloaded. This keeps the website responsive and available even during high traffic periods. To summarize the discussion, we can say that the key difference between an API gateway and a load balancer lies in their roles. The API gateway is the front-end gatekeeper that manages API requests, routing them to the right services while handling security and aggregation. Load balancer is like a traffic manager that distributes incoming traffic across multiple servers, ensuring even load distribution and enhanced system reliability. To wrap up and understanding the roles of these two components is essential for building scalable, reliable, and secure web applications. An API gateway ensures your APIs are well organized and secure, while a load balancer keeps your infrastructure robust and responsive. Both play crucial roles in modern web development, and knowing when and how to use them will empower you to build more resilient and efficient systems. Let's move forward towards the code of the API gateway and the load balancer. So this is an example of the weather services. This is just an example to show you how our API works and how are you going to implement API gateway in Java. So this is the weather services and therefore we have to get the data of the weather in real time. So we are going to get the data from this website, which is openweathermap.org and their API for the authentication. You can say that this URL is the API gateway. We are creating another function, get current weather, which is responsible for getting the data from the API. If you see that we have already created an another class weather API, which is responsible for fetching the data from this API gateway. When this function requests the data, it will first authorize it and then it will fetch the data. You can see that the code begins by adding the retrofit dependency. The retrofit dependency is for making the simple API calls by the help of the HTTP client. You can also see that there is also a response model called weather response, which is responsible for getting the structured JSON data from the API request. If we talk about the main function of this code, you can see that there is a instance of the glass weather services and then it is calling the function get current weather and we are passing the parameter london that means we are passing the location to this function to get the temperature this means that we are getting the temperature or the weather information let's talk about the load balancer code we typically do not implement this in java code it is implemented on the network level or the server level however here is an example in java which can help you to understand how can you stimulate a load balancer in Java. So this is just for an example and to give you an idea of how a load balancer works. So we can see that the load balancer class is maintaining the list of server addresses and it is and it keeps track the current index of the server. We can see that there is another function called get next server which returns the server address to the list and cycles through the server's list in the form of the round robin fashion. Let's move forward towards the main function of our code. You can see that we are declaring a list of servers. There are three servers and we are passing these server lists to the load balancer class. Now we are repeatedly calling the get next server to iterate through the list and printing the 
statement request when to and that server name when it comes to the current index. So this code is a basic example of load balancing strategy where requests are distributed evenly among a list of servers to ensure they are not overloaded, which enhances the reliability and performance of the system. It's a simplified example for educational purpose and does not represent the production ready load balancer. So this was all about today's video. You have learned what is the difference between API, gateway and the load balancer. So if you like the video, click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell icon so you will be notified when I publish the next video. Thank you guys for watching.